Hello. I, I I apologize that this is 2022 and I'm just getting around to making this video. For years people have asked me how to play Angel and I have never done anything and I haven't written any chords down or shown people the chords because um, I don't know them. I have no idea how to read music and I don't know. I don't know any of that. I don't know chord structures. Uh, I wrote this song when I was, I wrote the chord progressions for the song when I was 13 years old and um, just throughout the years it became, you know, I wrote lyrics to it and then I got Johnny Craig and then when I recorded it I was 21 years old. So it's just been, it's it's been a big part of my life um, just because that it has had a story and it took nine years to write doesn't mean that it's a difficult song it's probably the easiest song in the world but it's a good it's a good beginner song that's why that that was the first song i released under my encore was because it's just so simple to play really and it's a really pretty song and i'm, I'm really really flattered that people are still listening to it uh today so um, I'm going to teach you, I'm just going to teach you where to put your fingers on this. It'll be super simple. Um, capo is on the third fret, on the first string, on the third fret, and then on the second string, on the third fret, you're going to put your uh, ring finger and your pinky on those. And it's going to be there the whole time. The whole time, the whole song, you're going to have that there. Unless you just don't want it during the bridge, you don't need it, you're not playing those strings, but that's... Go, put, it, put your hands in a G chord. So your uh, middle finger is going to be on the third, on the sixth string, and then on the fifth string, you're going to have your index finger on the second fret, changing it up. And you're going to stay in this box pretty much the entire time. This little box right here. You're just going to be rolling your fingers around there. So keep that, keep... Your second one, even easier, is just move your ring finger up one to the second and take your middle finger off. Keep those two on there. It'll get a little bit darker. <laughs> lift it up a little bit put move your index finger back down to the fifth string and on the second fret and keep that middle finger off don't touch it and then the last one making a little G shape I, that's what I called it that's what I told him in the studio was make it a smaller G shape that's how <laughs> I wrote oh man okay so you're going to put your index finger on the fifth string, on the third fret, and then on the fourth string, you're going to put your ring finger on the second string. Okay, that's that's the four. That's the four. The whole song. You set it to the bridge. Okay, we're gonna change it up a little bit, but keep it on there. Keep. And then, index on the second, on the sixth string. Your third, bring one down. And then the last one, you're just gonna make a little G shape. I don't know what that is. I should know what that is. I have written three albums. <laughs> I don't know what that one is. That one's the, that's the one that stumps me. All right, and then, you know, It's easy. Let's do the bridge. This is gonna be just the end of this. You're gonna put 
your, I, this is the way that I play it, but you can keep it on there, you're not playing those strings, but on the fifth string, and on the fourth string, you're just going to play those on the second fret. Okay? Just, and all you're going to do is be playing these top, these bottom four strings. Ooh, a little dark, right? And then you're gonna do your little G shape, but you're not, you remember, you're not playing these. You're not playing it. You're doing these two. Okay? So, that's it, that's it. That's the whole bridge. It's 